Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys three five minute crafts that you can make this summer. Make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video for a giveaway. So let's just get into it. The first project is this DIY emoji duct tape squishy. I've made a few duct tape squishies on my channel, and this is my favorite way to make a squishy without memory foam. To make the base of a squishy, take a plastic bag and take some pillow stuffing and go ahead and stuff that into the plastic bag. Make it into a round shape and then go ahead and tape it off with some clear tape. Cut off the extra part of the plastic bag and then go ahead and tape down any excess. Then cover the whole entire thing in some yellow duct tape. I find it easiest to put the duct tape on and then cut slits in it so that it fits nicely around the curves of the squishy. I decided that my squishy was way too dense for my liking, so I went ahead and I cut some holes in the back of it so that it would be faster rising. And once that's done, it's time to draw a face on our squishy. I used puffy paint to do this, but you could also use pieces of other colored duct tape. I decided to make the heart eye emoji, and as you can see, I messed up on the eyes at first, but since it's duct tape, you can just wipe the paint away. So I drew two hearts for the eyes, and then I drew a brown mouth. So here's how my finished duct tape squishy turned out. I really love this type of squishy, they are really quick and easy to make. Speaking of squishies, Smushy Mushy was super awesome and sent me a bunch of squishies to review for you guys. I love Smushy Mushy, as you guys all know, and I'll be giving away some Smushy Mushy squishies, so stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how to win one. The next craft is this shaving cream marbled paper. First, you'll want to take some sort of tray and go ahead and spray your shaving cream all over the tray. Next, take some food coloring and put dots of it all over the shaving cream. And then, take something like a skewer or a toothpick and swirl it all around. I used purple and blue food coloring, but you can use as many colors as you want. Then, take a piece of paper, I'm using cardstock paper because it's thicker, and press it into the shaving cream. Make sure that you press it down really well, and then go ahead and lift it up. Take a ruler or another flat object and use it to scrape the shaving cream off of the paper to reveal your design. You can also use stencils with this method to make cool shapes on the paper. I used the leftover food coloring and swirled it around, and then placed my stencil on top. Make sure not to press the stencil down too hard. And then you just repeat the steps that we did before, pressing your paper down onto the stencil, and peel it up to reveal your design. I scraped the shaving cream off with my fingers this time, and when you're scraping off the shaving cream, you're going to want to move inwards onto the design so that it doesn't smear onto the white part. So here's how my finished shaving cream marbled paper turned out. For some reason, the purple dried really weird, like it pretty much disappeared except for in a few spots, so I definitely want to try this with different colors of food coloring, but I think that it came out pretty good for a first try. The last project is this bubble art. To do this, you're going to need some bubbles. I'm using this pack of six miniature bubbles that I got from Dollar Tree. You'll also need some food coloring and some paper. And I decided to test this out on three different types of paper. I tried it on watercolor paper, regular printer paper, and cardstock paper. First, put about 10 drops of food coloring into each bubble container. And now all you have to do is just blow bubbles onto your paper. So I started out by trying the regular printer paper, and this one worked okay, it worked pretty good. I was still getting used to the whole blowing bubbles onto the paper thing, so as you can see it kind of like splattered a little bit when I was blowing the bubbles, but I think it still looks nice. Then I tried it on the cardstock paper, and I think that the cardstock paper worked good as well. I think I was getting a little bit better at blowing the bubbles onto the paper and like how far away I had to be for this one. And I just did red and blue for this one. And lastly, I tried it on the watercolor paper. And I think that it actually worked the best on the watercolor paper. I think that it helped it show up a lot better. But if you don't have watercolor paper, no worries. You can just use normal printer paper and it'll work just fine. So here's the regular printer paper, the cardstock paper, and the watercolor paper. This is a really fun process art to do. Speaking of bubbles, the people at Glove a Bubble were nice enough to send me their new Glove a Bubbles to review. These retail for $1.99 each, and I've seen these at Target, and you can also find them on Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. So inside you get the bubbles and a bubble pouch, as well as your glove. 
You pour the bubble solution into the pouch, and then you dip your glove in, and then you can make some awesome bubbles. This was honestly so much fun, and this makes like so many bubbles, guys. Like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. So make sure to look for these the next time that you go to the store. They were super fun. In the package, they also sent me a list of these bubble games, and I thought it would be fun to share these with you guys in case you wanted some fun ideas that you can do with bubbles in the summer. So you can pause the video to read about those. So now on to the giveaway. So you can win a glove of bubbles, this is the lion one, a sticker and pin pack from Smushy Mushy, this leopard squishy from Smushy Mushy, which just so happens to be an ultra rare one, and also a Baskin Robbins gift card. The rules for the giveaway are that you have to be subscribed to my channel and you also have to follow me on Instagram. Comment your Instagram username down below so that I know that you're following me, and I will contact the winner on Instagram on July 4th. The giveaway is open to people in the USA only just because shipping is expensive. So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and if you're not already and you'd like to be, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, it is at WellerMegs, and yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!